What's up guys, this is D'Angelo Friday with EUR Web. So I'm here in downtown Los Angeles. Lisa Ray is adding a new title to her long illustrious career. She's gonna be honored as Queen Mother of Ghana. I got the opportunity to talk to her and a few of her supporters right before the event. Chief Kwanzaa, who had an integral uh, role in getting Lisa Ray uh, this honor, Why, what made her special or stand out for this? Well, I think I have heard much about her and uh, her role in African American society and even American women as a role. As a role. And uh, when I heard she wanted to be crowned as a queen mother in our motherland, Ghana, back home, uh, I have to interview her over the phone so many times that can you do it? And she accepted to do it. Actually, I asked, I told her much about the crown, and, and not necessarily you put a crown on your head being a, being a queen mother or a chief. You have a lot of things that you have to accomplish. What do you think this says to the younger generation? Um, seeing someone who was very successful as an actress, um, you know, she's put her hand in a lot of things, um, and how she's using that as a platform now. What do you think you want the younger generation to get from that? Well, a, a lot of times we, 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 we're led by example. And so if I see somebody that did and I think I can do, let me try. You know, and so like she did exactly from, say coming from Chicago to LA, she did a, a, a lot of things you, you talk about doing, but at the same time when you put yourself out there and, and make it happen, it's a whole other vibe. We have a, a, a good person here in America who is coming back home, going back to her roots, where she was born, where she ancestors are from. She's coming over and help the nation, Ghana. What would you say that us African Americans uh, what can we do to contribute to something like that? Yes, uh, I think many of us here who are living here, who haven't been home, are more privileged and which doesn't use the resources to. But we are this will enlighten, I think, which we want to take you back home to enlighten you and know the kind of privilege you guys have over here, which are not using it. Uh, so I think with Lisa Ray going back home, helping back home, will encourage more people over here to assist more. I feel that we all have a purpose yeah. for our lives. And people in Ghana have a purpose for their lives. Yeah. They're there and some of them have never seen any, any further than Ghana. They need to know that there's a world outside, but we can come inside and share what we have and bring it to you. I don't care who you are and what titles you have. We were not born with titles. We were born as a human being, and every human being can make a difference. Hey guys, I'm here with Lisa Ray. First of all, congratulations on your honor. Thank you. Uh, here's my question for you. Okay. What kind of message are you trying to send for the younger generation with how you balance your career uh, as an actress and a fashion designer, but then also your philanthropy work? I think it's one and the same. You know, I think because when you become a brand, uh, you become an influencer, that's your way to be able to use your platform to be able to deliver your message. And so when you become that influencer, people recognize the leadership in you. And so when you have a leadership, you have to have a message that you're going to convey to the younger generation. And what that is, is that in the beginning of your career, yes, it's for fun, it's the show of the show business, but don't forget about the business side. Don't forget of why we get involved in what we get involved with the craft. And without the craft and without the fans, there are neither one. So we have to in intertwine ourselves together as one and be unified. And so that's what my crownship is going to mean to me, to be able to 